Hello everyone, I am from the Doctor back again with another new episode. As I have promised in my previous tutorial, I would like to share uh, how you can create a text outline or text stroke effect uh, in Laser Game Show uh, to the header widget of the heading widget of the element. Sorry, this is not the header, it is the heading. Heading text to widget of the element. You can use it, you can create it easily um, to give a text outline to your uh, heading um, headlines uh, by using a simple CSS code. Uh, it's a very short, easy. I'm going to show you how you can create this. Here I have created a demo how you can uh, create this type of um, stroke effect or uh, outline effect to your uh, text uh, to create this kind of eye catchy uh, designs for your website. So uh, in this tutorial, I will show how you can first and first section. I will show how you can create this uh, text outline effect uh, to your uh, heading text of your elementary widget, heading widget. And later on, I will show how I have created these features. Just Open the computer screen of my uh, computer screen and let's check uh, how I have created. This is the demo page. Let's move forward. I have already uh, working on this section, so you see what I have done. But before doing this, I just want to take the heading uh, widget here. Now I like to write the text stroke. Center align. Now I want to add the color white. I want to increase the size so that it is very much visible to you. So this is the normal text heading text of the Elementor. But if you want to create a um, text stroke to your um, the heading text, you will be needed the Elementor Pro uh, because we have to add a CSS code. Uh, that's quite tough. Uh, without the Elementor Pro, if you don't have the Elementor Pro, then you have to buy, buy these to get these features. So the link will be available in the description. So click on the link and pick up the Elementor Pro to get these features to create or unlock the other premium features. So also have detailed video. Why should you pay for Elementor? You can save almost 250 bucks uh, if you buy an Elementor Pro. $49. Okay, but moving forward, uh, this is the heading text widget of Elementor. Now I like to add the text extra effects to this feature. To do that, first of all, I have to add a CSS class here, uh, which will be visited such so as text stroke or something like that. Fine. You have to remember this, just copy this. Now moving to the custom CSS panel, use the hash here, paste it here. Now just use the second bracket, hit enter. The code is very simple. Um, I'm just sharing the code. This is here is the code is web cage hyphen text hyphen stroke, and I'm using the two pixel here, and the color is the white. Outline color or text stroke color is white, so it's not visible here. So if we, if I made it red, you can see here. But for design purpose, I'm making it white. <clears throat> to make it more interesting, just go to the style panel, make it transparent by dragging the color here. Now you can see this is how it looked like. So. This is so easy, just take, uh, grab the heading text widget, uh, add your CSS class here, and add a custom CSS from the advanced tab in custom CSS, just by using hash and create a web kit text stroke and the pixel, how much pixels you want to get. Now you can see the pixels get uh, density. So this is how, so easy you can create this kind of text stroke. Now I like to show how I have created this. This is very easy tricks. I have just downloaded these uh, 
image from the Google or uh, I just collected the image from the sorry this is the, the image from the deposit photos and I just uh, collect the image now <coughs> here I have uh, overlapped uh, just create recreate this section okay I'm just recreating this section here just take the image we need. I have already added the image already available in my media library. Now add the <clears throat> heading text again, uh, which will be the hot and sorry, this is the tan hot and spicy. Uh, very hot and spicy. Okay, <clears throat> make it center. Give the color of white. Okay, I want to increase the size as well. That's good enough. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. One hundred thirty-five. <clears throat> Just uh, create a duplicate. Now add uh, a class here. Already I have uh, created a class here. So if we were if you, if you know that option, so it will be placed. There is a very interesting option here. The interesting option is here. I have already copied the class here and paste the class name. Paste the class name here. So you will see. The effects here. So, yes, this is the very beneficial features of the element show. You can see I don't have to write the repetitive code, so your code will be not, uh, your website will not be blocked with the same type of CSS code. So, it's a very easy if you use the same class, the effect or style will be available for the same widget as well. Okay, now the most interesting part is here. We have to be more careful here in this section. So, which part we will be doing? Set the top. I have a three widget here. So, first of all, I am just making it go to the advanced section and the positioning. In the position, make it absolute. Okay, now I have uh, overlapped this section here, so almost done. Now uh, I have to set the Z index to the all images and text so that I have set it to two. Okay, again, uh, repeat the work. First of all, first of all, I want to make uh, the trans uh, text, text stroke uh, heading uh, will be on the top. So I think this one is the text as is uh, so I have to rename to make it rename this stroke. Remember this. 
if I am adding the <coughs> Z index the most top level so I am adding it 5 so you have you can see it's already reflecting the result the normal results and I have set it uh, 3 or 0 and the image will be <coughs> 2 <coughs> Now, uh, to get this kind of effect, we have to use the motion effects of Elementor. Now, I'm selecting the field text of <coughs> Now, go to the scrolling effect. Set the horizontal effect. And to get the left, I'll say it. screen left. Uh, I want to very slow position here 0.5. Make it copy now. Select this one with the repeat work motion effect. Select the scrolling effect, go to here, paste it here. Now, just you want to see, see, you can detect the stroke there. This is my the first one. Now, I am looking at the right one, the new one. So, you can see. So, I, I don't have uh, more text here. So, if you, I would like to add some more effects here, like this one, or like to add spacer. Here. I will add some extra color here so that the effect can be more colorful. Right. Let's check it in the front end. So, this is the first one. Now, I am repeating the second one. So this is how you can create this kind of thing. So now we can see how we can easily create this kind of text stroke options by using the CSS of simple CSS scripts. And it's really great. If you find this tutorial helpful, definitely give it back to me and give me a thumbs up. I will try to create the different kind of things. In the next tutorial, I will show how you can create the dynamically you can add the copyright text. So if you jump on several websites, you will get the copy of text and it's automatically changing. So if you are using Elementor, so definitely you can create these kind of things. I will show in the next tutorial. If you want to check this tutorial, so subscribe my channel and give it a thumbs up and share your opinion how it uh, looks like this. So if you find this tutorial helpful, then definitely leave your comments, share with your friends and test your own website. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I'm going to be signing off for now. Tata, see you in the next video. Stay connected.